Back now with a story that got our attention today. Scientists have created a flu virus on purpose in the lab that could potentially kill a lot of people. Researchers in Wisconsin and the Netherlands working separately have created a form of the deadly bird flu virus that can easily spread. We're talking about a virus that could kill a lot of people. A deadly strain of the bird flu could kill millions if it gets out. We know particular genetic changes that have occurred during the pandemics of 1918. 57 and 1968 and we use that knowledge to genetically modify H5N1 bird flu virus and try to see if it would also acquire this ability to become airborne. It's certainly something technically you can do, there's no reason why you can't do it, but why would you do that? because we now know the biological traits of these viruses and the mutations that are associated with those biological traits, we might be able to do better surveillance. We might be able to, uh, uh, to study viruses in outbreaks and to see whether some of these mutations are already occurring. There's no reason whatsoever scientifically to believe that the, the chance mutations that you might create in an experiment in a lab, that those mutations would have any relation whatsoever to a naturally occurring bird flu strain that would turn out to be one that infected people extremely, extremely unlikely. Nor will it help us design a vaccine because the strain that's gonna come from birds is not gonna be the same. So if you make a vaccine to some artificially created flu virus, a company would be insane to invest in making that vaccine in stockpiling because it would almost certainly be useless. So those arguments are just, they're just crazy if you understand how this all works. It is aerosol transmitted and therefore scientifically very, very interesting to study. But whether this virus would would, if it would ever escape from a lab, would start spreading? We don't know. <clears throat> if they succeed in making a flu that can jump from birds into humans, and that turns out to be a really deadly flu, then the risk is that it will get out of their labs and start infecting people, and we have no immunity, so it'll spread through the population. If we have extremely dangerous uh, work that can be done and we have alternatives that are safe and that are at least as scientifically promising, although they address slightly different questions in most cases, that we should have a very strong presumption uh, against doing the, the, the dangerous ones. If you want to understand avian flu strains, you can do more surveillance of birds. There's lots of birds with the flu every year. And there are scientists who do that. They go out in the field and they collect waterfowl that tend to have these strains. And they also collect domestic uh, chickens um, that have the flu. And you can extract virus from those animals and sequence it and, and try to get a better understanding of what's happening uh, in the flu virus in those other organisms. But to do it artificially just carries this huge extra risk and, as far as I can tell, no, no practical benefit.